were surrounding Tiranesh de Barber. There was talk of a course record. There was talk even of a world record attempt on Paula Radcliffe's mixed race record from 2003. That went to bed very, very early in the race. Gladys Chirono is still on course record pace. She's still inside course record pace. There we are. We can see the uh, the pink red dot of Gladys Chirono just zigzagging her way. She's going to go on to Französische Straße. Then she's got one more right-hand turn. Then a left into Unterdeen Linden. The course record you can see there, almost 400 metres behind. So we will have a course record barring any extraordinary late developments here in the women's race we've had a world record in the men's race absolutely outstanding from one kenyan and we have another kenyan here on her way Tiranesh de barber i can tell you is way down on the field over 20 seconds behind she was at 40 kilometers and gladys chirono who won in 2015 and again last year is on her way to make it a third title here. You have to say, Chris, that with all the talk of perhaps attacking the world record of poor Radcliffe and wanting to run a very fast time, Tiranesh Baba has probably done a favour to some of the other leading ladies in that, that she's taken the spotlight off them. There were many who felt that Baba, rather like uh, Kipchoge, just had to turn up to take the win here, but that was perhaps not... Uh, giving enough respect to the defending champion. At the age of 35, Gladys Chirono has built up an enormous reservoir of knowledge. Her personal best was set here in 2015, and she's going to almost certainly improve upon that markedly here today, but the defending champion will remain at the champion by the looks of things. She will indeed. She's run another very, very smart race. A very unassuming character, doesn't like hogging the headlines, just as they're talking out on the road. And Gladys, with the number one on her back, is going to join the likes of uh, Beru Kibede, Uta Pivik and uh, Renata Kokowska as a three-time Berlin champion. There we are, confirmation of that personal best set three years ago. The course record, just to remind you, 2.19.12, held since 2005 by the Japanese runner, Yoshida. And that will almost certainly go today. She's 400 metres inside that course record of Noguchi. Into the last kilometre now. Into the last four minutes of running here. And it's been another brilliant performance by Gladys Chirona. She's now on to Unterden Linden. And I can tell you that Edna Kiplagat, who wants to make a bit of history of her own, will bring her home as well if she finishes in the top three. Edna Kiplagat, she'll be the first runner to finish in the top three at all six marathon majors, and that's an achievement in itself at the age of 38. But today will belong in the women's race to Gladys Chirono. There she is, inside a minute and a half, inside course record pace. This, of course, on average. Wow, she's heading for a quick time. But, Chris, this is only her sixth marathon. She, uh has served her apprenticeship at the lower distance she was, she was world half marathon champion back in 2014 but her racing her running style is suited to the fast flat courses like dubai like berlin and uh, as defending champion she knows this course and that's always of course reinforcing isn't it if you return to the venue of a previous success you feel comfortable with it you look feel at home there happy memories happy associations and of course the knowledge of of the track and here she is about to go through those magic pillars of the the brandenburg gate and from there it's a matter of hundreds of meters to the finish line she's almost there the result not in doubt and it's a question of not if but by how much she'll break the course record history once again unfolding here in berlin what a moment this is in the sunshine for gladys chirono the course record, Mizuki Noguchi, 2.19.12, not in doubt. That will go. It'll be a huge personal best for Gladys Chirono. 2.19.25, she missed it by just a matter of seconds three years ago. She missed the Rio Olympics through a stress fracture in 2016. But she's back to winning ways here and in the final straight. Listen to the crowd. 
brilliant support here for Gladys Chirono. The final few hundred meters. And the cadence quickens. The arms working a little bit harder. Every second now counts. 3.25 that last kilometer. She's now into the last 200 meters. Gladys Chirono, a two-time champion, about to become a three-time champion. Tiranesh de Barber may well have rallied to come through in second place. We'll bring her home very shortly indeed. The finish line in sight. It says Ziel in German, the finish line. And Gladys Chirono working super, super hard. Maybe the inspiration from Elliot Kipchoge of a few minutes ago. Listen to the noise in the sunshine here in Berlin. And Gladys Chirono is no longer a two-time champion in Berlin. She is a three-time champion. And she has smashed the course record just outside 218 as she dawdles over.